now the latest on September 27th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Hurricane Lorenzo is very strong at this point now, category 4 status. Tropical storm Karen also active in the Atlantic. Looking around the world there, it's only those two systems that are tropical cyclones with names at this point, day 270 of the year. Day 118 in the Atlantic, Lorenzo, Category 4, Karen, Tropical Storm, um, doing that loop and weakening, still very weak, Jerry, a remnant. Invest 93E in the Eastern Pacific could develop into a tropical cyclone, day 135 of hurricane season there. And Invest 91W is active in the Western Pacific and is starting to take some more shape. That could become a typhoon for the Japanese islands. No systems active in the Southern Hemisphere though, it's all quiet here. So only one main feature now tonight, Hurricane Lorenzo, which we're putting at 150 miles per hour and a pressure of 939 millibars, verified by SATID, our satellite estimates of the storm. It's uh, 1,055 miles from Porto Novo in Cape Verde, 17 degrees north, 41.1 degrees west. We expect that Lorenzo will peak within the next 12 hours. Um, as a Category 4 storm and then we'll start to weaken during the course of Saturday um, down to Category 3. This is mainly due to increasing wind shear um, and then it will continue to move off towards the northeast. It's not going to accelerate only until the middle of next week really. It could still strike the Azores with 100 mile per hour winds or greater. Here's actually what's happening right now. Higher amounts of wind shear to the north of Lorenzo and it's taken on that curve now so it is moving northwest in that latest imagery and so it will probably start to feel that hit within the next 12 to 24 hours. So uh, the time limit on its strengthening is drawing ever nearer um, but at the moment it could still make one more push towards high end category 4 towards category 5 even. That would be uh, a shocking rarity for this part of the ocean. You can see just how much of the Eastern Atlantic Lorenzo takes up, uh, completely massive compared to what's left of Karen. It is still a tropical storm, Karen, by the way. Um, a convective burst recently, but not much of a future on tap, according to the National Hurricane Center. Gulf of Mexico looking quiet, the Yucatan producing th some storms over land. Eastern Pacific looking like this, rather disorganized, really, uh, but you can see that Invest 93E. Um, towards the right hand side of your image some convection flaring up on the northwestern side over towards the central pacific not much going on here long range models suggesting there could be development towards the international dateline in a week or two the western pacific looking like this invest 91w has cleared the mariana islands into the philippine sea now somewhat broad and that will likely take on a more northwesterly course over the next day or so and that one could develop into a significant typhoon if the models are to be believed yet again um, and that one will take an all too familiar track as it been occurring this year towards the Japanese southern islands and then possibly the Korean peninsula. The uh, South Pacific region looking like this very quiet really a few flare-ups near Vanuatu and the Solomon Islands. The Indian Ocean a very weak disturbance off the western coast of India Elsewhere, very little going on really. A little disturbance near the Seychelles though, interestingly, but that won't have much mileage in it. Sea surface temperatures then looking like this, the Eastern Pacific. Um, the further out you go, where Invest 93E is, it's uh, very uh, dicey really, 26, 28. Um, hit and miss really on the coast of Mexico warm western Gulf of Mexico western Caribbean very warm um, out over where Lorenzo is at this point around 28 degrees Celsius those sea surface temperatures will decrease if it turns further north as well Indian Ocean very warm 30 degrees plus along the coast of Andhra Pradesh Odisha and Bangladesh the Western Pacific very warm as well um, actually recovering a little bit in the Philippine Sea where that invest is 30 degrees generally and a little bit cooler near the Philippines. This is Tropical Storm Karen then, so it's had some more flare-ups throughout the day today, although I must say looking at this imagery the center of the system is becoming a little bit less clear in those laser frames. Um, we do expect this storm will sort of stall and then turn around at some point, not much, so much of a loop expected anymore according to the National Hurricane Center, but that could still change. Hurricane Lorenzo looking like this, moving northwest, its eye fantastic appearance and just look how much there is to the northeast on, on those bands. Huge this storm, its cloud cover extending nearly 2,000 miles 
miles from one end to the other. Sorry, 1,200, not 2,000. That is a bit of an overestimate. So this is the naming list. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Nada. The Central Pacific, Ima, is next on the list one. Um, over in the Western Pacific, the next name, if 91W develops, will be Mitag. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well under the same name, and you can send us a message on any of these outlets. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night, as always. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.